Samsung is at the top of the game when it comes to the foldables, and they have been seeing big success with the S24 series too, even though they are not the biggest upgrade from the S23 series. And that's not the same story gonna happen with the foldables though. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 will apparently have a totally revamped design, and this time this design is not only aesthetically different, but also functionally different. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 will be wider from the front, and this also means it will be wider tablet than the previous Galaxy Z models when opened. And this is something that people have wanted from Samsung for at least four generations now. And this will do two things. One, it will give you much more wider screen at the front to use it as a daily driver, and you don't feel like it's a chocolate bar anymore, but rather a proper wide device. And two, when you open it, it will actually be in landscape mode rather than in portrait mode like the current foldable models. So you don't have to rotate the phone again for that. And this also means it will have a much bigger screen inside compared to the 7.6 inch diagonal display of the current foldable models. The renders that you are currently seeing is not exactly accurate though. Do keep that in mind. I mean, the camera redesign could be slightly different too. Or it could be exactly like this. Because Samsung is apparently using this specific water drop design on all its smartphone except the foldable, so why not on the foldables too? But this render is basically based on the patent filed by Samsung for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. And if you look at the patents from the first Galaxy Fold to the recent one, you will see a massive change. And that is where we are going to see in real life. The patent for the upcoming device actually shows that it will have a much thinner profile when closed or when opened. And if Samsung is able to achieve that commercially, then it is going to be at a massive improvement over the last year's model. But at early stage of the news, we don't have proper dimensions. But once I get to know about that dimensions, I will definitely update you guys. So Samsung has already shown that they have made a hinge that is much more durable than many other foldable devices and also allows the phone to close flat without leaving any gap between the two halves of the phone. So if Samsung can make the phone as thin as Google Pixel Fold even, I will be very happy, to be honest. And if they can make it as thin as the Honor Magic 5, then wow, that would be crazy. But then again, that also makes me think, what about the battery? How much the battery capacity we can expect? So, well, at this point, we don't have a news regarding the battery, but it is going to be somewhere close to the same as the current model, 4400 mAh to 4600 mAh. But that's expected range. Now, if they use a different technology like the Honor Magic 5, then the batteries could be thinner and the phone could also be thinner. If not, then you can't really expect a thinner phone to have a bigger battery then. Now, the reason behind Samsung doing all this hard work to make the foldables more attractive is because Samsung's profit last year came mostly from the Samsung mobile division that sells the Galaxy devices. And the most selling devices are actually the Galaxy phones. So Samsung will have to do something to entice customer to buy the Galaxy Fold or upgrade to it. But what else they can do to make you upgrade to a Galaxy Fold? Make it cheaper or make a cheaper one? Well, Samsung is actually going to do both of them. Samsung is going to make the Galaxy Z Fold 6 cheaper by utilizing a newer technology to make the foldable displays. But that's not all. Samsung is also going to make a cheaper foldable. Now, I, we still don't know what the name is going to be. Maybe it will be called Galaxy Z Fold Fan Edition or maybe it will be under the umbrella of Galaxy A series models. But we've already heard many times from reliable leakers that this is coming. This time Roland Quant is saying that Samsung is making one. It will cost somewhere around 1200 bucks. Don't get your hopes too high because it might not even arrive at the same time as the Galaxy Z Fold 6. It might even take few more months to, to come to the market, maybe next year even. And we still don't know that. The same way we don't know about the processor it will have, what kind of screen outside we're gonna see. Is it gonna be as big as the Galaxy Z Fold 3, Z Fold 4? Is it gonna be smaller than that? Or, or is it gonna be a recycled variant of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 or Z Fold 3? But at the very least, it will have a cheaper camera system. But this is really getting exciting and I will keep an eye on this and let you guys know once I get to know anything about it. But yeah, it will not have the S Pen support according to a leaker and that's not the end of the world because some things needs to be exclusive to the Galaxy Z Fold flagship series, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.